Robert Manchester United won, Ipswich won. These are going to be the five things we learned from the game. Talking about Ruben Amarim, some individual players that I thought struggled, and some good players as well. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and let's get straight into it. So, the first thing we learned, Amarim's disappointment. I don't think the game was anything what you expected from Ruben Amarim's sort of team. I don't think the intensity was there. I think we lacked quality in the final third. And it ultimately wasn't a performance which did give Manchester United fans a lot of confidence. I think the main issue was we just couldn't score goals and we just didn't look confident. Um, the players tried too hard according to Ruben Amarim. And you could see that in his post-match interview. They were trying too hard to implement things. But I think the main thing that Amarim will, do, will be disappointed with is the intensity. Forget about the result. The players didn't really look up for it and the players didn't look confident at all. Look at Delo. He's making a lot of errors in that first part of the game. I think Johnny Evans struggled in the left centre-back role. There was a few issues that I think need to be changed. I think the midfield massively struggled as well. But again, you have to take into consideration Amarim has only had two training sessions with the squad um, full. So he hasn't had too much time to get his principles across, which obviously would be a huge fact factor in it. It just looked a bit... They're trying to do what he said to them, but couldn't really figure it out. The formation was obviously there, and I think Amarim will be disappointed. I think the goal... That we scored was fantastic. A great bit of play from Amadiallo and a great cross. That was just a bit of brilliant again from Amadiallo. Great finish by Rashford. But other than that, we had that one Garnacho shot that went wide. We had the Ericsson shot that went wide. Other than that, I can't really think about anything that 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 we created. Um, Josh Wazirks, he struggled when he came on. I think it's another player amrim has got to get to now. He talked a lot about him in his post-match press conference. Talking about how he needs to get into the box, be a bit more decisive um, and ultimately I don't think that's how many was um, I think he's going to be very, very disappointed I think the goal we conceded it was a great goal deflection Onana couldn't save it but we did concede a lot of chances Ipswich were on top of us for large parts of the game and I think you could say they did they deserve to win the game based on that they had way more chances than us the Onana made two three really good saves um, and it's a very very good decisive blocks from the defenders but we simply just didn't do enough to win i think going forward amrim maybe have to change the team look a bit look for some rotations and ultimately that's that will be something that we look to do going forward in the league and in the games listen you have to think he's going to have two training sessions by our next game against bodo glimpse he would have had maybe five or six it's going to take a lot of time to implement his style into these sorts of players and with the constant games it kind of does help but doesn't help at the same time um, as I said, he talked with the players. I think there'll be a lot of players returning. I liked when Luke Shaw came on. I think that left centre back role was suiting. Um, I think Masuari was absolutely fantastic. Um, I think Casemiro and Eriksson they can play but not together. Um, there was just no intensity. They weren't. They were not able to cover ground. Um, and I just didn't really have that balance for me. So that's something that can change. I think Garnacho in the left inside forward wasn't great either. Um, and I don't think Rashford up front works. So those sort of things need to be changed, which I think Amarim will learn from his first game. So yeah, the first thing, Amarim disappointment. Now the second thing, Ahmad excelled again. Now it was a new position for Ahmad. I think Ahmad was absolutely fantastic yesterday. Um, his performance was brilliant. Um, he was very good on the ball, very confident, and um, put in some very good tackles. Scored that, well, created that great pass for, a great cross for for Rashford, um, which was absolutely fantastic. He scored a great, we almost scored a great goal when he cut inside towards the end of the game. Ahmad is United's best attacker, and the issue is Amarim thinks the best position for him is right full back, and I think that's something that will immediately change. I think we desperately need a left wing back. You can move to low or Masrari out to right wing back, and I know Amarim likes to play with a left for a right wing back. Could you see Anthony there? He could play with a left, uh, a right for a left wing back, to kind of for the balance sort of perspective, but. It certainly will be interesting to see what does go on, um, but I think Ahmad yesterday was fantastic and listen, he could have kept Eric Ten Hag's job if he continued to play more, he really is that sort of a good player um, and I think Ahmad will be someone who definitely excels, I want to see him closer to goal where he can really impact the game um, and really have a great impact on the team. And the third thing to, that we learned, Masrari fantastic, Masrari since joining Manchester United has played right back left back, attacking midfield and right centre back and in every game and in every position he's played he's been absolutely fantastic. I think Masrari has to be one of the bargains of the summer. Um, he was absolutely fantastic yesterday, recovering the ball just keeps it simple, um, passing it well effectively, very good tackles, understands the game relatively well um, and I think that right centre back role would be a good role for him. Obviously in the future you may see Lenny Yoro there but again for a, for a guy 
who hasn't played in a while. I think he did put in a very good shift and I liked his performance. Um, just very, very smart, kept it simple. Um, and you look at going forward, he he's just so versatile. You can probably play him anywhere in the pitch and they give you a very good job. So yeah, very, very happy with Masrari. So that's the third thing we learned. Number four, Rashford struggles. Rashford massively struggled. Bar the 81 seconds where he scored the goal, he didn't have no impact in the game. Um, he struggled on the ball. He struggled off the ball. The runs went there. And yes, Amarim obviously doesn't, maybe doesn't see Rashford as one of the inside forwards, but he definitely, for me, his best position isn't in the number nine. Could they be left wing back? But he'll have to defend really hard. Could it be in the inside forwards? But for me, I don't think he's that clinical, proven number nine that we need. Um, his hold up plays in there. Um, and I think some of his runs were off and he just didn't look very, very confident. And I think that is a confidence issue with Rashford. Obviously, the goal was fantastic, 81 seconds in. But as I said, in, until the 60th minute where he got subbed off, he didn't really have an impact in the game at all. And I think not only Rashford, but a lot of other players struggled. I think Garnacho. Um, massively struggled as well so yeah Rashford did relatively struggle I'm disappointed um, I think Rashford will be someone who we again want to get a tune out of but we can't do that and that's something Amaru must look at doing going forward um, into games from here on because yes we both struggle but again it's all about really what can we do Um to, to kind of help Rashford get into the game and that is the biggest issue. Now the fifth and final thing, midfield struggled. I don't think the intensity was there from the midfield. I think Casemiro and Eriksen massively struggled. They couldn't cover ground. They were getting bypassed a lot in that midfield. And I think they, what Ambrin wants for the midfield, I don't think Casemiro and Eriksen can offer it. I think they're, they're too slow. They don't have the legs. And yes, I think they can play with maybe Ugarte Eriksson or Ugarte Casemiro or Eriksson Mainu, but definitely not together. And that's something Amarim would have learned from this game. The midfield is very, very key for Amarim. There's two midfielders in there and they have to do a lot of running and a lot of work. Um, and that's ultimately something that we didn't see from Ugarte, in, uh, sorry, Casemiro and Eriksson yesterday. And maybe because Ugarte wasn't fit, um, coming back from international duty, he would have started. But I definitely think the next game he will be in there. I think the midfielder is definitely key to the press um, and also very, very key on the ball. So listen, they are the five teams to learn. Obviously, we learn a lot more from Amarim's first game in charge at Manchester United. But let me know your thoughts. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace.